Hey, my name is Kia and welcome to my channel. This is the hairstyle I had and it did me well, but it is time to take it down. I highly recommend that you use something slippery like an oil or a conditioner when taking your hair down. This is me having a good old time. I was in my room watching my podcast and working through each tangle. So definitely go ahead, put something on. You can put some of my videos on if you want and take your time. When you take down your hair, remember to be super gentle. I love to assess my ends when taking them down. I use my fingers, but then when I get up a little higher, I may use a tool like the end of a comb for instance now if you have something like twists you probably don't need a tool but you can go ahead and separate your hair do a little bit of they're saying finger detangle but it's more so of like a, just a pre-detangle situation after I do that for each little section, I go ahead and put some twists in my hair to stay organized. After I take down my hair, I go ahead and twist the sections up to leave my hair organized. One thing about a natural hair, working in sections and having your hair in an organized manner as you go through it is extremely helpful. This is how I do my hair when I am not filming an aesthetic video. I work in sections. As you can see, I have three, maybe four twists in the back right here. And then as the video goes on, you'll see how I have the front divided. A concern that you might have is that can I properly clean my hair if it's in sections yes you can but there is a method to it when washing my hair in sections I make sure that my hair is saturated I have so much hair so I work from the back and then I go ahead and work in the sections in the front and this alone takes a ton of stress off of my plate and a ton of just overwhelming emotions out of my hair when I'm doing it. A lot of people think that natural hair is too much, it's too much maintenance. And to that point, I always say, but are you working in sections though? The sections really do help. Right here, I am using the Amika Hydro Rush Shampoo, and I am taking each section out and going through applying the shampoo. On this wash day, I did use two shampoos. I also use the Kinky Tresses Shampoo, and while both of these are moisturizing, I really enjoyed how my hair felt after using these shampoos. I wanted to cleanse my hair and cleanse my scalp, but not strip my hair this wash day because I had clarified the wash day before. So that's why I am doing that this way. And I do find that the Amika one is a little bit more stripping, even though it is quote unquote moisturizing, but I did use that to get the initial gunk off and then use the Kinky Tresses one. If you find that your sections start to come loose, you can see that I have these crocodile clips all over my sports bra in my hair and that really helps. Another thing you may be wondering is the time commitment. Does it take longer in sections? Uh, I feel like since I am recording, my hair just takes longer than if I wasn't recording. Once you get in a flow of doing this, it doesn't take that long. Here you can really see me getting all up into the sections, getting up in my scalp. And I really enjoy this. I really enjoy when things are organized. Now, as a collective, you I keep saying that, but 
When washing my hair, I have moments where I really focus on my scalp to make sure I get all the things I need off my scalp. Then the moments where I am going through and cleansing my hair thoroughly. And the only thing with this that I've noticed is that you have to make sure that your product is completely out of each section. And the way that I do this towards the very end of washing my hair, I will go ahead and just like <laughs> stand under the water and rub my scalp a little bit to make sure everything is out. As far as conditioning and deep conditioner, you can go ahead and detangle your hair the same way, like with those same sections. And I find that very helpful because I get overwhelmed very easily <laughs> with my hair if it is not in sections. Some more tips are that we're always working in a downward motion. The water really helps with detangling and just getting through your hair. Please let me know, do you wash your hair in sections? I am really curious to know if I'm the only one who does this, but this is an extremely easy way for me to manage my hair. And now I have, I've moved on to the conditioner part. Everything is gliding through my hair now. We are having a great experience. This was a good wash day for me. I do detangle with a wide tooth comb. When I go to my stylist, she used the Fe Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. And she also re recommended that I use it. So maybe I might go back to it, but lip retention is a whole nother video. After I am done with each section, I go ahead and I twist it back up. And then you will see that I did sit under the dryer for my deep conditioner. But section after section, we got through it and it was easy. I did go ahead and put this clip. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, girl. Curls were coming back. Curls were coming through and it was like some more shampoo. We got that out. Well, actually, no, that was deep conditioner. So this is me going ahead, finishing up my deep conditioner. And then after I rinsed it out, I added some leave-in. And then this is what my hair was looking like. I go ahead and try to stretch my hair using either blow dry or the rev air, but I was being rushed in this video. So this is what the twists were looking like. I put it in a bun and then that's it, y'all. Until the next one. Bye. One of the Bobbies is bad. It girls. And we ain't playing tag. Bobby ain't nothing to play about. He wanna play in the playhouse. Play out, play out, play out. They gon' say no. I'm watching these books, I'm rubbing a scene out. Like I'm ready to bend. All the fake Bobby's just wanna pretend.